Welcome back to the 2020s. How was your amazing time travel experience? So, not impressed. That was not like Back to the Future at all. Oh, so you didn't ride on the hoverboard or make out with your own mother? You. You really don't seem impressed. What happened? Well, my order was to be sent back to ancient Egyptian times. I wanted to hang out with the pharaoh, and learn to read hieroglyphics, and finally truly understand what it means to walk like an Egyptian. If you move too quick, you're falling down like a domino. Ah, I see you love the 80s as well. Well that sounds like it would have been great fun. So what was the problem? The problem is that the time machine seems to have been out by a few thousand years. So I ended up in a cave with a man named Bug. Meug. I asked him if he could walk like an Egyptian. Meug. Turns out, that the only thing he could really say was... Meug. It was like being in a cheap Flintstones knockoff. Meug. Me like rock music. Get it? Rock music. Yeah, I played by the Rolling Stones. You funny man. Meug. So anyway, no Egyptians, and I want a refund. Yeah, good luck with that. Did you read the information brochure that we gave you before you signed on for this wonderful time traveling journey? Yeah. Kinda. Kinda? Well, I know it said not to use the time machine if I have a heart condition, or allergies, or a bad mustache. Did you read the bit that said time travel is a new technology and accurate delivery to the time period of your choice cannot be guaranteed? No. Well, there it is. Time travel is a new technology and accurate delivery to the time period of your choice cannot be guaranteed. That's so unfair. Well at least you now know the answer to one of life's great questions. Why did the caveman always have red eyes? I don't know, why did the caveman always have red eyes? He was always getting stoned. Get it? Can you please send me back to any time zone that doesn't have Marinex jokes in it? <laughs>